Career Girls is connecting role models and girls around the world through our virtual camps. These inspirational camps feature industry-leading role models and are offered free of charge to girls of all backgrounds. Career Girls' second virtual AI and robotics camp focuses on how AI enhances the creative process, machine learning, how robots see and react to the world, ethics in AI, and career exploration. A lot of the things that we do in technology is based on creativity alone. No one would ever thought that I'd be doing a Zoom call over a mobile device. So someone had to really visualize this happening. How can AI be used to enhance dance? It could like teach you specific types of dance or inspire you to be more creative. It can uh, bring people together through dance. The video was very interesting to see how the movement of the people could be transformed into the computer and that it would pick up on your uh, key joints and stuff without wearing any special sensors. We've seen robot that could help us explore the area that it's dangerous or invisible for human beings. We have seen robot who can improve our productivity and the robots that I personally like the most who can take care of our tedious housework. I learned about a robot in my breakout room. It looks at the water and like the deep sea with the sonar and camera. It also examines the ship's hull to look for um, any damage or things that could be hazardous to the ship so that humans don't have to go down there if it's dangerous. It's all a machine learning concept based on neural networks and lots and lots of data. This is going to be a game pretty much like the game of Pictionary, except the computer is going to guess. And they do this by using machine learning. I see line or leg or hockey stick. Oh, I know, it's umbrella. You noticed that it was going through stages and picking out exactly what potentially it could be, but there was one trigger that made it specific to what she was drawing. And that is exactly how machine language works. So that drop down list is a data set. And this is important because of the data that goes into uh, those data sets that create the algorithms and create the models that you see. Um, and so it's really important that we have a diverse set of folks who are building those data sets that go into the results that we see. To be involved in robotics, is it important to have knowledge on both hardware and software, or is it completely fine if you only specialize in one? I think it's completely fine if you specialize in one. Um, and I think that if you learn about one, you usually end up learning about both. Something I didn't know when I was the campers age is that you can have many jobs and many careers. It's not just one thing and, and you, you are doing it forever or it's not even just one thing in your day to day. What's really exciting about being in AI in general is just that it's really early. So you have kind of this wide open field of what you're able to accomplish. In my breakout room, I learned that you have to keep going at your dream, don't give up. And even if you don't know what a robot is or how to work a robot, doesn't mean you can't work for the company of the robot. Thank you to all of our industry leaders and experts for volunteering their time to share their knowledge and insights with our campers. And thank you to the campers for joining us. We can't wait to see your success in the future. Bye, Bye everyone. Thank you. Bye.